Who are you? BLP Kosher, the big dreidel. <laughs> BLP Kosher, welcome to Summer Smash. Hey, I appreciate you for having me, Nardwar. Right off the bat, I have a gift for you. A uh, Guru LP. What the f***? You slid. Bro, you snap, bro. Thank you, bro. What? Sure, no problem. Uh, what can you say about Guru? One of your faves. Bro, this is legendary. I actually just met DJ Premier, bro. It's an honor, bro. This is even honor, bro. What? Like I was saying, possibly a sample. Bro, that's... I'm at loss for words, bro. This is legendary, bro. Quote, call me a calendar the way I'm flipping paper. Mofue. What the... You know about that boy Mofue? He handed out some flyers with you. Yes, sir, bro. You slid. How... That boy slid, bro. You snapped, bro. That's a legend right there. I, lo I love my brother Mofue, for sure. I bought a Switch for... <laughs> Old time say I love the references to skateboarding. You snap, bro. That's crazy. What can you say about switching and skateboarding? Um, when when you're like a regular, like if I'm righty, like I'll go like lefty, so that's like switch. Like it's harder to do it the way you're not. So like that switch, like ambidextrous type of type of shit. And I have a gift for you on a skateboard tip right here. A Little Wayne skateboard, oh. as well as a Little Wayne lanyard and a Little Wayne towel. No way. Thank you, bro. I love this. You snap, bro. Because you sample him on iguanas. Yes, sir, bro. I love that shit, bro. That boy the goat, bro. That boy a lyrical genius. What do you think about lanyards? You know, things to carry your keys. I feel like I know where you're going with this. Um, I... I fuck with lanyards. The last time I wore a lanyard, I was um, I was like working and stuff. <laughs> I feel like you already know about it. Maybe I don't want to speak too soon. Oh no! Please go ahead. I, I was like I used to work at like the van store at the mall, and then like I had a, a lanyard and shit. So I didn't even know what a lanyard was. But like that's the last time I, I knew what a lanyard is. And like hopefully the next time I have something around my neck, it's like a big dreidel instead of a lanyard. What do you have on right now? What's on your neck right now? It's like um. The homie name that that boy Zach Bia, he he bought me this just as a friendly gift, and then like, this is just like another one like a Star of David, and then this is a fake Cuban, but I I like the fake Cuban for some reason, from just that you know them gas stations over there in like Broward or like Oakland Park gas station and shit. The Mad Skate Shop. Wow, you a legend for knowing about that shit. My, that boy uh, Rob, he used to he used to give me free stuff and bless me and like help get my footage around and stuff. Rob Holbrook. My friend. Were you sponsored by them? Yeah. Yeah. And the Pepper Skate Team? What the fuck? That was my first sponsor. Bruh. <laughs> Jit the goat. <laughs> them boys were not flagging. Nah, you slid, bro. That's crazy right there. I ain't gonna lie. What do you think about all those TikTok videos? People having like <laughs> tinfoil on their teeth, etc. And playing your music. Them jits be snapping, bro. That, that shit like... That shit's crazy to see people like dress like me and stuff. Like, that shit wild. I ain't gonna lie. It's like, that shit crazy to feel like, like looking at that shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, them boys trying to look like me and stuff. I, I love them jits though. Everybody that do that, I love, I love them people. Do you have a favorite? Do you remember some favorite TikTok that you had of somebody impersonating you? I'll say, um, the moms and the dads and shit. They got moms and dads doing it and stuff. That should be crazy. Did the moms return a favor by actually going to your gigs? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I seen an OG over there. I seen, a, 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 a like, this tall blonde lady. Like, she was just standing there just, like, hitting the dreidel bop. I was like, what the fuck? She was really there, like, with her jits and stuff. When is the last time you cut your dreads, do you think? Because right now, they're pretty long. When is the last time you cut them, you think? I just snip them, like, right here. I keep them the same length. Like, I snip them and then re-thread it right here. Like, they ain't finna grow longer to, like... If it starts to like get near where it's gonna touch my shoulder, I'll just snip it and then just like re-thread it. What about Sugar Sand Park? Do you know that at all? What the fuck? Yeah, I know about that. I was just there like trying to trying to play basketball by myself, and I was just like, nah, fuck that. I'm finna leave. Like, I'm not too good at basketball, but if I do play basketball, it was at Sugar Sand Park. Do you ever go on the carousel there? What the fuck? That's probably the only carousel I've ever went on in my life. Loggers run skate bowl. Oh, shout out to that place. That shit is legendary. The, the Eleven year old BLP was he hitting up that place? Yeah, long live the, the lady that um made that skate park. Her name Cindy. Uh, God bless her. You know she just passed away. I didn't even know that until recently. But she, 
like I used to like be at that school and I was like troubled or whatever. I would like go to the skate park right after it was like a blessing. So like she made it like, you know, she snapped by letting me, she used to like let me in for free and shit. That lady snapped, bro. That shit's fine. That's crazy you know about that, bro. You, you snapped, bro. Whoa. You are BLP kosher. We have to know. <laughs> also, some other skate parks, Ramp 48. Hey, shout out Ramp 48. That's crazy, bro. You you blessing right now, bro. A lot of people, a lot of people that are gonna watch this are gonna like warm their hearts when 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 they see you doing this shit, bro. I love Ram 48, bro. That What's, what is that like? It it's like it's a Calvary Chapel. You like like you know I'm Jewish, but like they still embrace me and stuff. Like they're very nice and shit. Like I really just hang out there. Like sometimes I don't even skate, but like I did a lot of like writing bars over there and shit. I'll just like hop off the bus like. If I was working and shit, like, I'll just leave work, go hang out at Ram 48 and just, like, like just, like, skate. If a bar pops in my head, I'll just write that shit for me. Like, it was lit. Like, Ram 48, like, shout out to um, all the skateboarders and the staff. And you were BLP? Kosher. <laughs> at Summer? Smash. Lyrical? Lemonade. Lemonade. You you a star yourself, bro. You got a big fan base. People love you. Well, thanks for the kind words. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, for sure. Jewish drill rap. For sure, that long live Jew Shiesty and Charmaine, for sure. That's kind of what you call yourself, in the beginning at least, yeah. Jewish drill rap. Yeah. In the beginning, you know, I was going through stuff, and it's like little, little disses and stuff, but I'm trying to be more on, like, a positive note and stuff, and move on from, like, any type of, like, negativity and stuff. I'm trying to move on and, like, be, you know, so maybe less drill, more hip-hop metaphors and shit, more lyrics and shit. What about other Jewish rappers like Kosha Dills? Hey, shout out to him. I met him. He's a nice person. I met him recently. And I was also going to ask you about, I don't know if you've heard of these guys right here from Florida, the two live Jews. What the fuck? Sheesh. From 1990, the two live Jews. Wow. On Kosher Records. You, you slid. You put me on some shit. I did not know this existed. You slid hard. The two live Jews from Florida. Wow, bro. I'm, a possible sample. I'm going to give this to my people. I got to listen to this in the car. I'm going to give it to my grandma. We have another gift for you right here. A Mattis Yahoo CD. Do you know him at all? Another Jewish rapper. I just met his children. Really? Yeah, I, they came to my show, bro. Shout out to him. His bro. children. Not He didn't come to the show, but it's, how old are those kids? It was about to be like Shabbat. So I think they were like. Kind of, I think, or no, it was right after or something. That's why it was just them. But they're nice people, bro. Wow. And that's a gift for you. What can I say about Mattis Yahoo? Oh, that song, One Day. I used to listen to it when I was a Jew. That shit is fire. And lastly, I have another gift for you. A legendary Jewish rapper, A to the D. Damn, this shit look crazy. You slid. From 1993, again, possibly another sample for you. Wow, you snap. That would be hard. You snapping right now. Beatrice and Benny. Oh, my bad. Nah, you know Beatrice? She a legend. Come on. She, wow, she a pro skater, yeah. I just spoke to her last night, matter of fact. She a pro skater. She, um, she was like, uh, she sponsored me like a clothing sponsor and became a close friend. Like, she a legend for real. Like, you have that t-shirt, like, fucking awesome. That's the iconic t-shirt. My fans be sometimes putting it on and stuff and like, she a legend. She gave me a lot of like wisdom and stuff. She almost reminded me of like my mom type shit, like. Nice bike. <laughs> yeah, what do you think about the bike? Little skateboarders versus bikers. That shit don't mix well. <laughs> the, when the board, when the board uh, goes under the wheel. Have you had some entanglements with bikers at all? Oh, my God. This didn't know a lot of stuff. <laughs> Definitely had an entanglement with one. <laughs> what, what happened? Nothing too crazy. I'm just surprised you know about that, to <laughs> be real. <laughs> what the fuck? That's crazy. And, quote, you push Mongo, I push peas. <laughs> them boys fly. <laughs> Could you explain Mongo? It's like when, you, um, when you're when you pushing and then, like, you got to put your foot in front of you, which, like, you're not supposed to do. It's like you're swinging like a wombat, like, all the way in front of you. So, like, it's, like, not the right way. But, you know, I still do it sometimes just to... If I'm just cruising or whatever, there's really no rules to skateboarding. But it was just like a funny turn because like, I used to get made fun of for pushing Mongo. Oh, you did it? Like usually a lot of people that push Mongo are like cap. Like they like oh, they're like an uh, impulsive liar. But that might not be true. But I know when I was young, I pushed Mongo and I used to like 
tell people I was sponsored by Nike and stuff, that shit, just stuff like that. So like, you know, I was dealing with somebody at the time and they were lying to me. So like, I remember they were like somebody that never stopped uh, pushing a manga on. Yeah, right, the movie. Yeah. It was filmed in Vancouver, British Columbia. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, and it also features, where well, I'm from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, it also features Rick McCrank. I, f- I got a bar about uh, Rick McCrank, too. I'm with your... Oh, you do? Yeah, I'm with your lady. I feel like Rick, I get McCrank on. <laughs> that, that was a bar I said. Speaking of Rick McCrank, or at least Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, I have a gift for you. The Northern Rage VHS from 1992, filmed in Vancouver. Lots of skate and snowboard action. Wow, thank you so much, bro. You're blessing me with gifts today. I feel like it's my birthday. It's my J-Day. And I have another gift for you, BLP Culture, from 1991, a rap cassette, Skate Master Tate. Wow, bro. Thank you so much, bro. What the fuck? And he was a rapper, a skateboarder, and it's something possibly you could sample as well, and also the host of Skate TV. Wow, bro. You putting me on stuff that I didn't know, bro. Rest in PCS passed away, but I thought perhaps another sample. Wow. Rest in peace for sure. Damn, bro. That was 1991 Skate Master Tate. Do you know many other skateboarders that are into rapping? Yeah, there's a lot of talented ones. There's a lot of talented ones. A lot of people say I'm like, they try to tell me like, oh, like, you're the best skater rapper. But there's, there's a lot of ones that are, that are going to come up soon that, that are out there for sure. Jose Beats. Oh, yeah. Basically, like, that shit made it easy to, like, start rapping because I'll just go on YouTube and use tight beats. And he kind of just like, it was like easy to just cop like cash out someone $30 and just like be able to drop a song instead of like, you know, obviously end up being independent and stuff like I'll just go on YouTube. and t- So like he a big time producer already, but like he still drops on YouTube. So like that shit helped. So like that was definitely one of the people I was consistently working with. Still am. We got more. We got more stuff. What are you searching for on YouTube? Like what is your search history like for looking for beats in those days? I'll say, like, I'll type in, like, Glock 9 type beat or, like, T-Grizzly type beat or, like, it's all type beats, like, different types of rappers that I'll listen to, like, and then sometimes not. Sometimes more just, like, random type beats. I'll just type in the sound, like, a certain type of 808 or a certain type of, like, a certain type of, like, vibe, like a city type, you know what I mean? Like, I'll just type in, like, um, maybe, like, Florida type beat or, like, Atlanta type beat. I'll just all type of type beats. Like, YouTube, I still got YouTube type beats, and shout out to all the the producers that like that like make tight beats still because like it makes it easier for like underground artists to like drop when you could just cop leases and like low key I'm still like I'm a forever look through that shit on YouTube like obviously I'm a, I'm happy to like work with new big producers but like I feel like I gotta let the producers know that are dropping on like tight beats right now like the jitterbugs like the young kids that are still dropping on like YouTube like keep doing that because you know. I still, I'm, I'm always, like, that's just my routine. Like, I listen to tight beats even when I'm just not doing anything. I just listen to beats on YouTube. And, like, we, we might, like, that, like my, all my biggest songs are from that. And that's how I met them boys. So, like, all the producers that are still doing that, like, y'all going to have hits one day. And um, I think that's just important. Like, I got to let them know that and shit. Thank you for giving me the platform and shit. No problem. And people probably are typing in now BLP type beats. Yeah, and I'm looking through them. And I'm probably, I am prob- I might buy some. I might buy one or two because, you know, I don't know. I just, those are some of the best beats. Like, I like, I like going and just, like, looking through YouTube to find shit. You give a shout out to Tommy Wright. Yeah, Tommy Wright the third legend, Tennessee legend, Memphis. And I have a gift for you, BLP Kosher, a Tommy Wright original cassette. Wow, thank you so much. You know, it's legendary because, like, um, the skate community loves using his music in the skate videos. Like, like old Memphis music, skateboarders love putting that in videos, especially, like, VX videos. So that's where I got put on to uh, Tommy Wright the third so this shit is fine I, I love this bro thank you new no problem Diego Bonilla wow shout out my boy Diego wow where'd you find out about him I, I can't ask that I ain't gonna lie. you know well, you are BLP kosher we have to know you you Nardwar you slid well tell us more about your relationship that was um that's a legend like he really helped out uh the skate community and stuff he helped uh that lady build the skate park 
And then he just was like filming me all the time, like very genuine guy. Shout out Diego, bro. Fuck with that boy. Camp Rock. Wow. I love that song. This is real. This is me. I love that shit. No, it's a 400% production. The editing is incredible. The video. Yes, sir. That boy Folger. Folger, 400%. Danny, Scotty. Them boys really work hard, for real. They, they snapping. Well, I must say, BLP Kosher, thank you for the Nardwar shout-out. The Nardwar shout-out. And I think you go do 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 shout out hey, shout out my boy Trapland Pat. Um he he like the first artist out of my city like embraced me publicly. You know, he ain't have to do that. He didn't even know who I was and like we from a similar area. I'm from like more up the road, but like he just like, you know, he's the legend out of Deerfield and he feel me like he just showed love and he he been real ever since. So that's my dog and shit and like shout out to him, bro. Like it just goes that way with like a lot of people when you're from the same place, it's easy to just be competitive or whatever, but he just showed love out the gate and I appreciate that boy. So, you know, y'all go tap in with Tratland Pat, bro. That's, that's my dog. Thank you also for the Nardwar illusion. Absolutely, bro. And the doo doo, you threw that in there. Yeah. Is there a doo is that doo doo? Oh, you know about oh, you already heard that shit. The the song? Y yes, a special leak. Oh wow, you heard it. I didn't know you heard it, bro. I'm glad you heard that though. But thank you, because you threw down Nardwar, the lyric Nardwar. Yeah. I get the info like I'm Nardwar. <laughs> you a star yourself. You got a fan base in Florida. Ever since I was legit, like, a lot of people would tell me, like, you got to do an in interview with Nardwar one day. Like, you, you like a rapper yourself. Thanks so much for the kind words. I appreciate that. And thank you again for the song shout out. And anything else you'd like to add to the people out there, though, BLP Kosher? Um, don't limit yourself to the people around you. Like, there's no limits. If you feel like you're one in a million, stick with your gut and follow through with the plan and stay true to that shit because you know a lot of people block blessings when you're around when you're around certain people so stick with the plan and stay true to yourself to all the jits to all the children and stuff follow the dreams don't let that shit get skewed by reality you feel me why should people care about blp kosher why should people care like people gonna know eventually but um I'm trying to do I'm trying to do some important stuff. I feel like the grand scheme of things comes later with everybody, but people should care about everybody though. Like there's a lot of deep, you know, artists out here too and shit. Like it's it don't really seem like it too much for me right now, but you know, people should care about everybody, not just BLP kosher, but caring about BLP kosher means caring about your people and not your people, you feel me? Like caring about uh random people you feel me like how you treat random people is important so i'll say that's if you care about me care about everybody and shit well thanks so much blp culture keep on rocking in the free world and do 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 uh, yeah! <laughs> that boy freeze now right <laughs> hey that boy narwar god bless you fam i appreciate you bro thank you so much <laughs> <laughs> I got a slide, man. Hit that dreidel bop on the way out. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate y'all. Show. Sure.